Stop dancing and started sucking their thumbs. Good evening and a very, very warm welcome to the recreation ground here in glorious sun-kissed Pitlochry. <laughs> uh, haven't been able to say that for a while. We've got a great evening's entertainment lined up for you, but I'd like to begin by asking you to welcome into the arena as they march round your hosts for this evening. We also have a special contingent of students all the way from the United States of America. They're the ones at the back. <laughs> so a very, very warm welcome, please, to your host for this evening, the Robert Wiseman Dairies Vale of Athol Pipe Band. <laughs>
Brisbane Dairies, Bela Battle, Fight Fan. And we'll tell you more about our students from the USA a wee bit later on. But a very good evening to you. My name is Alan Brown. It's my pleasure to be your compere, your fair and tie, your master of ceremonies, whatever you want to call me, as long as it's polite, I will answer. Before we begin, I've got to ask a question. Is there anyone here this evening who has been at a Highland night here in the recreation ground before? Has anyone been here before? No. That's amazing. Right. Well, I'll tell you how you're supposed to behave. This is Highland Night Etiquette for Beginners, part one. First thing we do is we divide you into two sections, or as we call it in this part of the world, two halves. Now, this half, you are in the Corporate Hospitality Grandstand. Planning permission applied for. Okay, this half, you are in what we call the cars. <laughs> now, if you're in the corporate hospitality grandstand and you see something that you really like, we ask you to respond, because this will happen a lot during the evening, we ask you to respond in the age-old Scottish way by going, bravo! Try that after three. One, two, three. Bravo! What a start. People in the cars, especially if you're sitting in the car, if you go, we've no idea what you're saying. So what we ask you to do is either to sound the horn or to flash the lights. Okay? After three. One, two, three. Amazing. There's not too many people there drive in the dark, are there? <laughs> right, we'll tell you more later on because we're going to start off with songs. I should tell you, this is the 44th year of these outdoor Highland Nights. And this man you're about to see has been present throughout all these seasons. He's going to sing a song about a battle which took place three miles up the road there at a place called Kelly Cranky. The battle took place in 1689. He wasn't there. He was working that day. But he's going to be accompanied by a resident accordionist, Donnie and James Kennedy, sitting on the back of the car. Let's hear it for Donnie and James. And will you give an extra special welcome, please, for the voice of Athol, Alistair McRae. For he been so brawled, for he been so brankio, for he been so brawled. Come on, come ye by Kelly Brankio, and if you haste. For I hate you, but I can't keep you. And if you hate me, but I hate you, and the breeze of Kelly can't keep you. Through the fog pit car, built in a car, and Clifford's got a can't keep you. But I hate you, but I hate you. And the breeze of Kelly Cranky-o And if you hate me, for I hate you You wouldn't have been so cranky-o And if you hate me, for I hate you And the breeze of Kelly Cranky-o Oh, fine, my kind, but God, shall I In the bloom of your cabranky-o it's best to kiss and Kelly's with than come by Kelly Cranky-o. And if you hate me, but I hate you, you would not be in say Cranky-o. And if you hate me, but I hate you, 
to the Jean Swanson Highland Dancers. and Rachel and the dance to Strasby and Reel of Tullock. I should have said at the beginning, if you have cameras with you and you want to take any photographs, please don't feel that you've got to stay there. Come up, come up to the boards, take as many photographs as you want. I'll clear the dancers out of the way. Take as many <laughs> photographs as you want during the course of the evening. Now, we have Gemma and Pritam. And... They're going to do a dance called the Sean Trues. Okay, guys. Bruce.
Gemma. Now we have our first four dancers. Rachel and Victoria, Amy and Clara. And they're going to do a dance which is called Flora McDonald's Fancy. Flora McDonald, of course, was the lady who got into the rowing boat with Bonnie Prince Charlie and rowed him all the way over the sea to Sky Digital. You all say it? <laughs> Bruce, here we go. Flora McDonald's Fancy. your allocation. <laughs> well done. Flora McDonald's fancy. Now the last dance in this first set from the Highland Dancers. We have Pritam and we have Gemma again. This is possibly the best known of all the Highland dancers. It's a dance called the Highland Fling. And normally I would join these two dancers to do this one. But unfortunately last night I washed my kilt and I can't do a fling with it. So it's up to you two. <laughs> Bruce, the Highland Fling. Kiss a 
somebody need a buddy tell Il Galassi has her laddie named this ill Yet all the lads they smile on me when coming through the night A man the train there is a swain I dearly knew myself But what his name or where is him I do not care to tell See how Sir Laddie named they say Yet all the lads they smile on me when coming through the ride. Pipe band. cameras, get some photographs up close.
Ladies and gentlemen, we don't normally interrupt the pipe band, but we have a young lady with us this evening who is either from Wyoming or California, but more likely Colorado. Her name is Sandra. Is she sitting up there? And it's birthday time. So, drop major, birthday time. <laughs> of the band are going to be coming round with souvenirs, memorabilia, and uh, if they miss you out, which is unlikely, there is a gazebo up in the corner there where the guys and gals, and like Jimmy Savile, the guys and gals with a reflective vest are selling CDs and mouse mats, key rings, dish towels, <laughs> uh, I've forgotten what else. Um, Hoovermatic washing machines, they're all on sale tonight, all to do with the pipe band. And uh, I should also point out there is another gazebo or mobile treatment centre 
over beside the pavilion. You see the red cross on it? That's because it's the red cross. And we've got Peter and Mary on duty tonight. Nice to see you. We hope, we hope you have a very quiet evening. Yeah. But if there's any problems, that's the Red Cross tent over there. Now, before I introduce our next guest, let's try the other side of the Atlantic. I know we have some people, but let's start with Canada. Is there anyone from Canada? No. Right. The USA. Is there anyone from Wyoming? Just one. A very special welcome. Anyone from California? Totally! Oh, yeah. you. Anyone from Colorado? Yeah. Who's your favorite group? The Beatles. Anyone from any other state other than apathy? Yes, folks in the front from where? Florida, where the weather's like this all the time. <laughs> At midnight, in winter, <laughs> in the fridge. Yeah, exactly. A car over here from where? Jersey. New Jersey, do you like it? I've got a matching waistcoat as well. <laughs> You're from New Jersey, right. Anyone, Ohio. Anyone? Yes, young lady. Ohio. Ohio, <laughs> lovely. <laughs> Last one? Where did that come from? Oh, New York. So good they named it. <laughs> We're over here. No, did I miss something? What oh, was it? Someone being run over. It's all right. Right. Promise you two types of dancing. You've had Highland dancing. Now you're going to see one of the best Scottish country dance troops you will ever see tonight. <laughs> Sorry, tonight they're going to be accompanied by Donnie and James on the accordions. They're going to start off with a dance called Bonnie Ann. We'll wait till they get assembled. I have swept it personally, ladies. There are no worms or spiders there. Okay, just ignore that iguana at the corner. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, accompanied by Donnie and James, can we hear it please for the Vale of Athol, Scottish Country Dancers. <laughs> A Strathspey. This is called the Burns Bicentenary. Now, I said earlier that this was the 250th anniversary of Burns' birth. This dance was created in 1996 for the 200th anniversary of Burns' death. We like Robert Burns in this part of the world. So, ladies, the Burns Bicentenary. <laughs> Thank you. 
and soldier far no more. Hang on a hillside, a Scottish hillside, you'll see a piper play his soldier home. He's seen the glory and told the story of battles glorious and each victorious. The bugle cease now, he is at peace now, far from those green hills of Tyrol. Because those green hills are the Tyrant hills, all the Tyrant hills, and the Tyrant hills, and there is these green foreign hills may be. They are not the hills of Ladies and gentlemen, will you thank for his contribution to this evening's entertainment, the voice of Athol, Alistair McRae. Not forgetting Donnie and James Kennedy, the Top Gear duo. Now, it's time for Highland Dancers once again. And we have Gemma. And we have Pritam taking his waterproof off. And as you can see, they are carrying some rather large letter openers. <laughs> the original weapons of mass destruction, as used at Culloden. This is their dance teacher. This is Jean, who is not only a dance teacher, but an international Highland dancing judge. The swords must be pointing to Magnetic North or the dance doesn't work. <laughs> you set? You set, Gemma? Bruce, you all set? Ladies and gentlemen, the Gene Swanson Highland Dancers and the Sword Dance. Tartan, well not visibly, they have joined the Navy for the Sailor's Hornpipe.
important fight. Now we're going to finish well off done, the sport of the Highland Dancers with Clara and Victoria. And they are modelling the new Hibernian away strip, season 2009-2010. No, they're actually a lot better than that, I'll tell you. Here we go with the Scottish version of the Irish Jig. Show your appreciation, please, for our piper, Bruce Hinch, all the way from Sydney, Australia. And the entire Gene Swanson Highland Dancers. Now, we have a special treat for you. No, it's not the end just yet. We have a special <laughs> treat. There is a young man in the pipe band who not only is in the pipe band, he is also a musician. <laughs> <coughs> on you come Tom he's going to sing a couple of songs for us I'm going to join him we're going to do the Everly Brothers greatest hits <laughs> remember the Everly Brothers Teddy, Joy and Babs well no I think I'll let you do it on your own Tom this is a song called The Cockle Gatherer will you give a very warm welcome please to Tommy Henson Okay. 
See them sneaking around the side. We have uh, some represent some of the older representatives in the band, and they're going to do a, a concert medley that they do or a competition medley that they do. Will you give a very warm welcome, please, to the Vale of Art, Robert Wiseman Dairies, Vale of Atle, Juvenile Pipers and Drummers.
this evening, the Robert Wiseman Dairies Bela Battle Juvenile Pipers and Drummers. I was told two things when I began comparing these evenings. Never interrupt the pipe band until they're finished and never stand in between a Highland dancer and her mother. <laughs> now, we've got Donnie and James at the accordions again, the magic fingers, all 24 of them. It's quite a feat. No, it includes a feat. And we have... Our Scottish country dancers who are going to start with a, a dance which has a very appealing title. It's a real, it's called Let's Have a Kelly. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, the Vale of Atho, Scottish country dancers. lets you see that Scottish country dancing is open to all including Spanish ladies. This is a slower dance. This is a Straspe and it is called Saint Kilda.
and gentlemen, please show your appreciation for the Vale of Athos, Scottish country dancers. Thank you, ladies. And remember also our demons of the accordion, Donnie and James Kennedy. They're actually father and son, but one of them has had a very hard life, so it's hard to tell. Just do the lucky program. Yes, I'll just do the lucky program. Before I do, can I just say that if you're still looking for entertainment, I present a one-man show with a cast of thousands at a place on Thursday evening 
called a place called Castle Mingus, just outside Aberfeldy. Castle Menzies or Mingus. The show is called This Is Scotland and you're welcome to it. It's an evening of music and comedy and they say the music's good. If you inquire at the tent, you'll find out all about it or see me later. Now, there are lucky programmes to be... Well, we'll see. There's only one lucky programme, actually. But if you have the lucky programme, you will get a bottle of Bell's whisky from the distillery just across from the garage, across from the filling station. Now, you've got to go and collect it yourself during normal opening hours. Don't worry, the distillery will be open again in November. No, it's open. Not open at this time of night, but normally during the day. So, I'm going to read out the winning number. And if it is yours, please, I'll meet you halfway if you're up there, if you get the cars, just to check the number. Uh, the number that I read out, you must have that in the same order. Okay? <laughs> right, it starts with a five. Is anyone still in with a chance? Oh, the excitement is intense. <laughs> Here we go. The winning number for the bottle of whiskey tonight is number 513. Who has number 513? <laughs> Five, what? Is that someone of it? No. 513. They're shaking their head now. Five. One, three. Well, tell you what, folks, do you think we should redraw? Yeah. yeah. How mercenary can you get? Yeah. We'll give one last call. Five, one, three. Does anyone have that program number? Really? No, redraw. Right, the winning number. This time, all previous claims are null and void. <laughs> the winning number, 602602. Two. Young lady, come down, I'll meet you halfway. Don't fall, or I don't know what I would do with a bottle of whiskey. It must be number 602 on the Lucky Blue program. <laughs> May I just check this? Doesn't matter if you're friends, dude. 602, that's last week's one. No, it's not. Do you drink whiskey? Where, where are you staying tonight? You can't stay here, this is a park. Where are you staying? In Pitlochry. Where do you come from? France, from Kelly. From Cali. Cali. Well, if I give you that, you take it to the distillery tomorrow and you will get a bottle of whiskey. And thank you very much. Yeah. Folks, just before I say a wee thank you on behalf of everyone who has taken part, we have a lone piper up at the top of the terrace. <laughs>
Folks, on behalf of everyone who has had anything to do with this evening's entertainment, whether on the boards, putting the boards together, providing the sound, taking your money so graciously at the gate and at the merchandise stall, I'd like to say a special thanks to uh, the Red Cross who were in the gazebo, they've now cleared away the mobile centre. They said that there was only one casualty tonight. Someone had been climbing on the roof of the pavilion and came down with shingles. <laughs> the pipe band is going to march along, then they're going to turn round and they're going to be joined, hopefully, by the Colorado Unmounted Foot, who will be behind them. And they will then march up the road to Fisher's Hotel in the main street. If you want to march with them, please do so. If you're in a car, please do not attempt to overtake the pipe band. <laughs> Last year we lost three drummers and a piper, and we really miss the piper. <laughs> so, for the last time, I hope you've enjoyed yourselves. If you have, please tell your friends. 44th year of these Highland Nights. Drum Major Kenny Forbes has got them all ready. Ladies and gentlemen, for the last time this evening, your host for the evening, the Robert Wiseman Dairies, Vale of Atho, Pipe Band. Thank you and good night. Turn around. <laughs> <laughs>